Hi, Dr. Bill here. Uh, welcome to our newsletter blog. Today I'm going to talk about Meniere's disease and dizziness. Now, they say that Meniere's disease is to dizziness what migraine is to headaches. In other words, Meniere's disease is often associated with much more severe dizziness, like migraines is much worse than headaches. It's more painful, more severe. Now, Meniere's disease not only can uh, include dizziness, but also uh, hearing loss, uh, tinnitus, which is uh, ringing in the ear ears, and also pressure in the ears. So very anyone who's ever had dizziness, it's very disconcerting. Now, um, in this particular research, they took 300 participants who'd also had whiplash from a car accident. So they got the whiplash and they also got the Meniere's disease. And what they found in these 300 participants, that they found that they had what they call a upper cervical subluxation complex. Putting that simply is that at the top of the bones of their neck, there was a misalignment. And what's fascinating about this research is that 90% of these 300 participants all had the same vertebra displaced in the same way or misaligned in the same direction, which is quite incredible. And the results by treating that misalignment, they actually found after six weeks, 97% reported a, that their vertigo was under control. So by correcting that misalignment in the top of the neck, they were able to actually reduce the vertigo significantly on most of the participants. So that's something to keep in mind, whether you suffer from dizziness or men Meniere's disease, it could be coming from a problem with a misalignment in your neck. Now there are, other, there are other things that can contribute to Meniere's disease. Don't think that because you have dizziness or Meniere's disease, it's gotta be coming from the neck. Remember these participants also had whiplash, so there was a, 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 a precedent there. So the other things that can cause Meniere's disease or dizziness is uh, obviously virus. Sometimes if the, your jaw is out of alignment or if the cranium is too tight, they can all contribute to it. So um, I hope that's helpful to any of you who may be suffering from either of these very uh, debilitating conditions or if you know somebody that is, you can pass this information on to them. Dr. Bill signing off. See you on our next newsletter. Thank you. Bye.